Hey everybody, this is Eric Nam, and this show is brought to you by Mindset by Dive Studios. Now, before you just fast forward this sweet, amazing little um, advertisement, I just want to tell you that Mindset is something that we've worked on so much, so hard here at Dive Studios. So please, if you haven't done so already, please check it out. You can go to GET mindset get mindset.com or go to the link in the description of this podcast episode or you can go to my instagram or my socials and there's a link in my bio now what is mindset mindset okay is a very important application where we have stories and boosters and all sorts of tidbits and personal intimate collections of audio from myself and other artists that are coming very very soon you guys can enjoy it and if you take part and you purchase you get access to a live free q a with me eric nam and you're giving to a great charity it's called doctors without borders and you are going to enjoy some really good content so so many good things come out of this one thing called mindset again go to getmindset.com to check it out now back to your show Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome back to How Did I Get Here. Uh, My name is Dre. And I'm Alexa. And this is the podcast where we live our best lives on the internet, come out the other side knowing more, but not feeling all that much smarter. (laughs) It's routine at this point. (laughs) No one will ever know what that means. No. Okay, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Leave a review. Also, check out youtube.com slash diapause for full episodes. Now, how have you been, Alexa? Oh, how have I been? Wow. Have you been um, working at all? Hmm? Have you been working at all? Uh, yeah, we got some stuff in the works. What's we. In the works? <laughs> but there, there's always I have something. No idea what you said. Wait, you can't, just, you can't just leave us on. Like, I, oh, I can't. It's oh, okay. I can. All right, okay, listen, listen. I just did. Listen, 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 listen. Is it music? Is it like other contents? Is it it's fun stuff? Like is it deep stuff? It's fun contents. The hell? Uh, oh, actually, no, no. No, fun contents makes sense. Mm, fun contents. Fun contents. Okay, okay. Mm. Fun contents. Okay. Mm. That's all you had to say. And you? Um, I have a lot of things coming up as well. I got some music. Mm-hmm. A, lot, a, a couple things on music side. I got some uh, deep content coming out as well. I also have uh, fun stuff. But yeah, um, I have a lot of interesting content coming out. So… And I've been playing a lot of Rust. Mm. I've kind of been… I've been trying to write music. But I just haven't felt myself in the zone. It's really weird. I haven't felt like this in like the past 10 years. Mm. And I feel a little bit burned out. But like not burned out at the same time. I mean you can't force yourself to write if you can't. You can so. though. But it doesn't… It doesn't turn out the way you want it to. It That's does. Thing. Really? If you do it enough. The yeah. thing is like… I, I just feel lazy. You ever get lazy? Yeah. Not… I feel that. I've been lazy for three months. Mm. I haven't done jack squat for three months. Mm. But I mean I'm, I'm working but like subtly working. You know mm-hmm. very small things. But there's so many top lines that I need to be doing. There's so many lyrics I need to be writing but I haven't. Mm. And I just I just don't feel like I want to be in the studio. Right? Well I, I love being in the studio once mm. I'm there. Just, I don't want to do any of the work. Right. I just feel like laying in bed. Like yesterday, I was in bed for like 24 hours because I had a headache. Oh. Did you take some Advil? I just… I, I didn't have Advil at home. Tylenol? I don't have… I don't have meds at home. Water? I drink water. Okay. I just don't feel right these days. You know what I mean? No, I get that. I get weird. that. Mercury is about to be in retrograde. Are you really… Are you really… You really gonna do me like that right now? No, seriously. You're Hold really on. Because you, you a, are… Ast- astrology my… Right now? Hold on, you're a Virgo. Oh god. So… Okay, tell me. Okay, hold up. This month has been not good. Because we're getting Mercury retrograde in Aquarius season. That's the thing. And that is… Hold <laughs> Mercury on. Mercury what? Aquarius is water. Virgo is earth if I'm correct. Hold on. I'm a Tauren. What? Wait. What? Am I not? I thought you were a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. September 15th, right? Yeah. Virgo. Yeah, Virgo. Huh. Wait, are Torrens not a thing? I'm not an expert. Okay. 
Okay, okay. But anyways, if you're feeling, if you're feeling off, anybody who might be watching it during this time period, mm. oh, I don't know when this is going out, but mm. uh, Aquarius season, January 30th through February 21st, I believe, Mercury's first retrograde, but the shadow period was starting on the 15th. So if you started feeling off on the 15th, that might be why. Wait, really? I I'm got an do, eye I'm infection on the 15th. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> but, hold on, but you've been feeling a little off lately? Yeah, I've been feeling like off, off, off. I don't Mercury know why. Retrograde. Is that, when's it last till? Uh, this one is until February 21st. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's painful. So I have another month of this? Mm, yeah. So I kind of just kind of have to just get up and start writing then. I've been waiting yeah. for it to subside. Mm. For this feeling to subside for me to get back to work. I get that. Like I had to, I had to record um, uh, some guitar stuff mm. for the Day 6, Day 6 songs. Mm. And I like I've never been this lazy. I waited till like a week before. Really? Like usually I'll do like… I'll like open up the files at mm. least. And I'll be like… Oh okay so this one you do. Oh this one you do. Oh, okay mm. this one you do. Oh I, I should do this one earlier. Mm. I literally opened it up a week before and I was like… Oh crap. Mm. I don't know what's going on. I feel out of the loop. I will talk to you about this later. Yeah. Mm. But in um, retrospect… I have been getting a lot of like… So my whole thing for… Mm -hmm. This year of 2020 was investment, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And I feel like I invested a lot of my time, Mm -hmm. money, hard work. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? I can see it. And I have been reaping the sow of my crop. Mm -hmm. I've been getting a lot of… I've been getting hit up from a lot of different places. Yep. And I've heard of some of them. (laughs) Wait, have you really? You told me about certain one. Last time we had an DMs episode. DMs or like… Are you talking about like, DMs. Oh DMs. DMs. Yeah, yeah. DMs are one thing. But like… Like like official requests for like features have been, oh. have been crazy. And sadly I haven't been able to accept them. Mm. <clears throat> but… I mean it's just like the amount of respect that I feel like people have been mm. giving me. Mm-hmm. I just… I feel overwhelmed a little bit. Aww. Almost like… Almost like all the money… <laughs> And all the all the all the time that I invested was worth it. Well deserved though. Well deserved. Very nice. Good job, Each. So how to break bad habits. Yes, that is today's topic. How to break bad habits. Uh, really? like procrastination, perhaps? Dude, I actually maybe today's episode can help me. Mm. It's it's just getting it's never been this bad. Okay. Actually it has been this bad. High school. High school homework. Hey, hey. Oh well then okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. There's uh, five science approved ways to break a bad habit. Um, and I trust science because biology, what did I just do? There we science. go. Science. Hey, hey. Science. How long does it take to break a habit? Let's see, hitting the snooze button a few times too many, nail biting, falling asleep in front of the TV, smoking. These are just a few examples of habits that people often try to break. However, breaking a habit isn't as simple as merely deciding to stop a certain behavior. Though that's a great start, it takes time and dedicated effort to get rid of old habits. Mm. Yes, but how much time? You're probably wondering as you're getting ready to get started. Well… Mm. More time than you might think. Really? Mm. Mm. The short answer. Some people say it only takes 21 days to break a habit. I mean, I've heard that before. Have you heard that before? No. Oh, really? It's interesting though. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I've heard… Specifically when it comes to like fixing your sleep pattern or something. Mm. It's definitely like, oh, it takes 21 days. So, you know. You know what I've heard of a lot? That if you quit smoking, Mm. that it's not… Ever a question of, oh, I don't feel the urge anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just fighting the urge for the rest of your life. Mm. I think that's… I don't know. I think I've heard that. Yeah. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. Others suggest it often takes a lot longer. Sometimes as long as several months. You know, I think that's definitely plausible depending on the degree of the habit. Mm. That's the thing. Like if it's nail biting, you could probably kick that. In 21 days, if you tried hard enough, I had a really hard time stopping nail biting. Oh, you were a nail biter? I did. I used to bite my nails Ooh, all the time. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, so much bacteria. Did you hold up? Because I had friends in high school, not just high school, but like school in general that were nail biters. Did you ever get that weird like nail I didn't. coating thing? My sister tried that on me one time, but I was just like, dude, this is too much work. Uh, okay, that's this wasn't worth it. Delightful. Yeah. Um, where does this one twenty? Where does this whole twenty-one days thing come from? Mm. Do you want me to read it or are you… I can go for it. I can read it now. Okay. Experts attribute the 21 days to break a habit myth to Dr. Maxwell Maltz, who worked as a plastic surgeon before becoming a psychologist. He suggested people needed about three weeks to get used to 
One, different facial features after plastic surgery. Two, the absence of a limb after amputations. Three, a house they've just moved into. Interesting. Ooh, okay. That's that's really interesting though with the amputation thing because have you heard of like the phantom limb kind of thing? What's that? It's like whenever someone becomes an amputee, sometimes they'll feel like they have a sensation in like if I were to lose my arm, I would like feel a phantom sensation like I had my arm still. Mm. That's a common thing. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Phantom Ooh. limb. Is that what they call it? I, I don't know what the proper scientific term is, but I've read like articles on like phantom limbs. Like that's the mm. thing with amputees. Okay. Interesting. Okay, okay. So uh, these suggestions may have some truth to them, but Malt seems to have relied on patient reports instead of scientific evidence. Mm. Another key issue is that none of the above are habits people want to break. Rather, these examples is, uh, describe… Habituation. Habituation? I thought I said habilitation. <laughs> like adaptation basically. Yeah. Habituation or the process of becoming accustomed to something new. Mm. Ah. Ah. Uh, no, so it is basically just like adaptation. Like you don't want to, but you you kind of have to. Yeah. So like, it's completely forced. It wouldn't yeah. be something that's voluntary. Mm. Such as nail biting or smoking. True. Mm. True. Hmm. Let's see. Habituation, on the other hand, involves something you've already modified, such as your physical features or something that you can't control, the loss of a limb. So there's multiple sides of the spectrum to habituation then. Voluntary, involuntary. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they're discrediting it because due to the fact that all his examples Mm -hmm. were not from, I guess, large specimen sizes. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not study… Large uh, sample sizes. Uh, Not large sample sizes. As well as the fact that all of his examples were based on things that were involuntary. Mm. (laughs) And you were kind of forced to adapt to. Mm. It says habits can become automatic. But there's generally still some choice involved. You choose to stay up late because you're used to staying up late. Yes. But you also do have the ability to set an earlier bedtime for yourself. Okay. But that doesn't work. That's cap. That's cap. That doesn't work. That's cap. I've been trying to go to sleep. <gasps> but that doesn't work. Yo, you know, you know, I found out. I found out how to do it. It takes like three or four days. Okay. You reset your cycle by sleeping later and later every day. And eventually you get to a point where you start sleeping at like 6, 7 p.m. Mm. And then you wake up at 6, 7 a.m. Oh. And then you keep it that way. I've done that. And it works. Oh. It's just sometimes you revert back because you have to do things. And then you just recycle it again. Three, four days. It actually works mm. very well. Okay. Very effective. Yeah, and it's super easy to maintain because you just normally start getting tired at 7, 8 p.m. The thing is, I need I need like a week without schedule that would allow me to do that. Because <laughs> uh, it's like, I might not be busy for two days, but then the third day, it's full schedule. So I, I can't sleep in. Oh, uh, no. So, okay. sleep is difficult. <laughs> okay, next article. <laughs> moving on, moving right, right along. I'm going to close that window. I, yep, okay. Hey guys, it's me, Alexa. Glad you guys are tuning in to Hidig today, but I just wanted to let you know that today's episode is brought to you by none other than the wonderful, convenient, easy, affordable, amazing BetterHelp. What is BetterHelp, some of you might be asking. Well, let me tell you, BetterHelp is a great, affordable alternative to offline counseling. Yes, indeed it is. Nowadays, we're spending so much more time at home. It's definitely, I'd say, the more convenient option for counseling available via the internet. Isn't the internet such a great thing, guys? You know, no in-person visits required, meaning social distance, safety, all that, you know, your mental and your physical health is very important to us here at Dive Studios and at Hadig, so we're just watching out for y'all. We've got your best interests in mind. Uh, This service is available for anybody worldwide, you know, whether you're too busy or like too far from other options. And like, you know, especially if you want to connect with someone as fast as possible, I'd say BetterHelp is the best option for you. Uh, They offer financial aid services and will match you with a professional within 24 hours. Uh, You know, they got licensed professionals that specialize in anything from stress, depression, anxiety, sleep issues, grief, whatever you might be facing. BetterHelp has somebody ready to help you. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash how. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash how. Let's get back to the episode now, shall we? Um, We also have… Let's see. Yeah. Uh, how long… We already looked at that. Ooh, the three-step oh. method to changing a habit. Cap. Entrepreneur. All right. 
A practical way to initiate a change of habit is one, create a new trigger from identifying the new habit you want to incorporate. You can work internally to detect the exact moment in which the tendency to fall into old pattern appears. And right there, redirect conscious thought, physical and mental energy to drive it towards the goal you already have in mind. It is essential that your goal is credible, achievable, measurable, and concrete, and that it inspires you enough to accompany self motivation. You need to say, you know, over time. Wow. So that's mm. basically just saying you need good self control. My first heartbreak. Uh huh. Ever. Uh huh. My first real heartbreak. Mm-hmm. I was wrenched from my heart. Mm. It hurt so bad. Mm. You remember your first heartbreak? Yeah. It hurt so bad. Yeah. It hurt so Pain. bad. Pain. <laughs> The way that I got over that Mm -hmm. was that I couldn't stop thinking about it. Mm. So I mentally triggered myself to every time I think about it to think about something else. Mm. So I redirected it. Okay. So I stopped feeling pain. But then what that did to me was it caused me to indirectly forget a lot of things. Oh. oh. So that's hence my goldfish memory. Ah. Blah blah. Okay. Yeah. I like… I like… I pavloved myself into like oblivion. Ah. Okay. memory. Mm, so this might not be the best method then. But I don't feel pain anymore. <laughs> I'm immune. I'm immune. I'm a I'm an emotional tank. Oh, what's it like? It's nice. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Oh dang. <laughs> Sticks and stones, buddy. Sticks and stones. <laughs> Uh, Number two. Associate it with a positive routine. When the emotions that accompany the routine of the new habit are optimistic and propel you forward, the mind feels comforted because it knows that it is doing a good job. There is an inner satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment, and the energy that will take you to do it over and over again until you incorporate it into your daily life. Uh. To associate the new habit with a positive routine, it is important to focus on small actions that contribute to your success. Ah, uh, yeah, I get that. I think. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. So it's basically saying don't try to completely 180 it, but you know, baby steps. Small actions will lead to like a bigger result, I guess. You can't like go from step one to step <clears throat> 82. Like, it doesn't work that way. Your legs aren't that long. So. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. I have I have differing opinions, but I, mm. I guess it depends on the situation. Mm. Definitely. Because again, it just depends on the degree of the habit. Not all habits are as detrimental as some, I guess. Yeah. I I, I don't know. It's, I just feel like at the end of the day, it's just self-control. It's yeah. like, how bad do you want it? Mm. How pissed off did it make you? Mm. you know? Usually anger is a good fuel for changing bad habits. I guess. I mean, I think for me, it's more or less it's just I gauge how much is it disrupting my daily life? Can I still do my work? Can I still function as a human being? Mm. So. What's a bad habit that you've kicked? Uh, ha, 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 ha. That is a good question. Um, yeah, that, well, that actually is a good question. Um, mm. Are you a nail biter? No, I was never a nail biter. I never like… Picked my skin or anything. Ah, uh, meh, huh. I don't know whether or not I should say this or not. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so um, when I, I, I'm someone that, you know, I'm a very harsh critic of myself. Right. And so, you know, whether it's like, <clears throat> I'm like, in like the Nogum Shir, like recording something, or it's like maybe when I'm learning choreography for the first time, like, I'm, I'm still breaking the habit. I'm still breaking the habit. But it's gotten better. But like, if I'm upset with myself, I have this habit of like, Digging my nails into my palm, oh, like kind of really? dis- distracts, like like because that's when I start thinking, like, okay, you're messing everything up, you're a disappointment. La, da, 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 da. So it's just a little distraction temporarily. It's not the best. Okay. I was saying this right now with these nails is probably not the best uh, picture, but I'm working, I'm working on it. But um, that's just a habit that I had that has not come back in a while, which is good. But I used to have that kind of habit. Uh, I'm very strict on myself. Yeah. I feel that though. I feel that mm. same. Are you? Are you? Are you the same critically to other people's works as as to your own? That's the thing. Whenever it comes to me being critical of like other… I hate the word critical. It just has like a nasty connotation. But Mm. you know, if I'm sitting back and I'm, you know, gauging someone else's work, I don't compare it to myself because it's like, who am I to compare my situation? I don't know how much, you know, they've gone through. I don't know how much work they put into this. 
at the end of the day, you know, if I like something or don't like something, it's just my opinion. Mm. But like, I don't think I'm mega critical about something unless it seems like it's being taken as a joke. Mm, like sarcastically, ironically. Yeah, and like, it's just, if someone's not taking their work seriously. Ah, so it's not about the results or the product. It's really about the journey there for you. The process, yeah. yeah. If you don't take it seriously, I… Mm. Um, okay, so uh, number three is create a mental or physical reward associated with maintaining that habit. Mm. The third point to change a habit is decisive. You need to create a reward to activate that center that is within your brain. This area contains neurons that emit impulse… Ah, impulses to numerous regions of the brain, fulfilling a fundamental role in motivation, desire, pleasure, and effective evaluation. Like all human beings, we do things because we feel we are in getting some benefit. The reward of the habit in this case has to be challenging and tangible, challenging and tangible enough to excite you, and at the same time, fuel your mind to do it continuously. It's like when you're conditioning an animal, though. <sighs> It is. It's conditioning. This is literally a True. scientific term. Conditioning. Slowly conditioning. Yeah. It's like you want your dog to stop chewing on the couch every time they don't chew on the couch or something. Just like, you know, pat on the head. Here's a snack. But if they do it, then that's when we get the spray bottle. Like, you know, conditioning. Oh. Dude, do all, do all pet owners do that? I feel like a lot do that. The uh, spray bottle. I don't know. I don't… Did, did we… Do it to cats a lot. Mom, dad, brother. Did we do spray bottle forever? I don't remember. But… um. I hear that a lot for cats. Because the thing is, it's you don't want to ever hurt your animal. That's the thing. I don't I don't like choke collars. I don't like shock collars. I, I think that's wrong. I think it's inhumane. Mm. But you know, spray bottle, that's the least damage you could do. Like your cat damaging, yeah. Exactly. Cat just like, man, I'm gonna knock over this cup. And you're like, no, stop. And maybe it stops. But uh, meh, you know, it's what if they like the spray bottle? I mean, dogs like water, so maybe it's not as effective with dogs. But I heard dogs you just yell at them and they get it. Yeah, because if dogs are more empathetic than cats, I believe they understand humans, human emotions more. They right. pick up on it. That's like dogs pick up on it. Right. So. Okay. Got it. All right. All right. Great. Um. Well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, you know, now it is time for us to answer y'all's question that y'all have for us. Um. This is always fun. This comes from After BCD. Question. Do you think it'd be a good idea if Twitter adds an edit tweet feature? No. Mm. What's the point of that? I wish they would give you unlimited length though. Or like more length. It's mm. too short. I mean, the thing is, they shouldn't do an edit tweet because that's the thing that makes Twitter different from other social media platforms. That's oh, the really? thing. Yeah, I mean, you can edit Instagram captions. You can edit your statuses on Facebook. You can edit oh, true. blah, 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 blah. You can't edit on TikTok though. I wish they would change that because sometimes you misspell things. But, all the time. you know, when tweets are sent out, they're sent out. And so there's, you know, there's always quotes, there's retweets, there's replies. So if you could go back and edit things and you could easily wind up in bad situations, like on accident maybe. Mm. So no, that's why you just delete the tweet. But for length, no, I agree. But that'd be nice. But you could also just, you know, write notes and then screen cap it. But True. Edit tweets has no, has no value for me. Mm -mm. Because people just screenshot it anyway. And it'll True. always be there. Everything is always captured now. Yeah, you're right. Once well, it's on the internet, it's on the internet. There's no point in edits. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Right. But I will say I'm glad that they put the retweet normal back to normal. The, the retweet button back to normal now. What was it? Originally, I think it was like if you press it, it automatically goes like quote retweet. I don't remember at this point. But there was something Twitter was doing for a while. But now it's back to normal. And so we're all happy again. You know you get better engagement on quote retweets than replies. <gasps> really? Much better engagement. Because the thing is, replies you won't see in your feed. But quote retweets you will. True. Twitter True. mastermind. Okay. I learned from you. Twitter mastermind. I learned. Question two. How do you cook your ramyun? And what is the most bizarre way to eat ramyun? Um, you want to start that one? Well, I just… I normally just… I hardly ever eat ramyun. But if I do, I just cook it with the egg. Mm. Um, I put the… Boil the water, put the sauce in. And after the sauce is done, I put the water I put the sauce in while the water is boiling. So oh, it'll really? like boil with together and mix <sighs> well. And then I put the myon in. And then I put a I put a little egg on top of it. And then when it's like half done, I like flip it. Okay. And then spread the noodles. Spread the noodles. And then I'll take it out. Okay. It. Okay. You you actually cook it. I mean, I don't I don't cook. I think we've established this on multiple episodes. I don't Wait, cook. Really? Oh no. 
I me kitchen. No. How do you eat? Uh, neither. Or piano jam. I mean, angel? I can cook like basic things. I just I don't cook cook. But like when it comes to ramen, it's like I just boil it and then you throw the noodles in and then you ta-da. What's your favorite pedara? Uh, I use yogio. Yogio? Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, really? I, it's not like I'm like ordering anything that's like exquisite that I need immediately by me. I will yeah. say I've searched different apps sometimes to find something that I was craving. But at the end, I just use Yogyo. Yogyo? Mm. Okay, Yogyo, we're going to need a sponsor. Please. We need a 50% discount code. <laughs> okay? That's what we're going to need. No, it's just unfortunate though. Because yeah. like, especially like the a few weeks ago when it was like super snowy and icy here. No one uh-uh. was taking orders. Yeah, uh-uh. I remember that. But the thing that sucks is where I live, there's not like any immediate restaurants that aren't just like chicken and beer. Yeah. And it's like, I, I don't want that. And, beer, yeah. and so it was like, peony jam time. Let's go buy an apple. <laughs> I actually did that too. I oh, had to really? go to jam and just get like kimbap. Mm. Yeah. But dude, peony jam, uh, jam, you, you get, you get kimbap? No, not, mm. not UK. Sorry. Uh, uh, Jeyukbokgum? Kind of bomb. Mm. Yeah, kind of bomb. Not gonna mm. lie. But uh, yo, legit, Yogyo and Pedari Minjok, please. Like, I… Do you know how much of my taxes I cut with you guys? Like, <laughs> like, you have no idea. I'm probably your best customer in the area. Please. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, um, that is it. Oh, what's, what's a bizarre way that you eat ramen? Do you have one? Bizarre way? I have one. You have one? Something that probably a lot of foreigners don't know about. Do share with the class. So this probably isn't really good for you. But a lot of people do this. Um, you could cook ramyun in the bag. Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard of that before actually. But it melts the plastic. So it's probably it's really not good for you. not healthy. Yeah, it's really not good for you. But a lot of people eat it like that. It's I've, not bad. I've also heard that. I don't know if it's a bizarre way to eat it so to say. But I would not do this now because pandemic germs. But whenever people are trying to eat… Like ramen, if they don't have like chokarak or anything, they'll like fold up the lid to make it like a spoon. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that been done before. Oh, I've seen people fold up the lid to like, like toro to like take out. Oh, and put in. yeah, I've seen that. I would not advise that now, but that's something I've witnessed before with ramen. So yes, we've huh. witnessed a lot of things in Korea. Yes, we have. Yes. yes. Anyway, <laughs> that is it for today's questions. Thank you so much for tuning in. Send in your questions for hashtag HDIGH. And let us know what our next big question or venture should be. And you can tell us on Instagram and Twitter at the Dive Studios as well as YouTube.com slash Dive Studios and YouTube.com slash Dive Pods for full episodes. Also TikTok at the Dive Studios. And don't forget to subscribe and to review the podcast. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hello, this is Joan Kim. Hi, this is Stephanie Makova. And we're here to let you know that we are premiering our very own show here at Dive Studios. It's called The Beauty Bar and we're your beauty tenders and we'll talk about everything skincare related, beauty related and give you some inside scoop on the hottest products and trends from South Korea. But also we want this show to be a space where we discuss bigger topics and how we can best let our inner beauty shine through. Because guess what? You're beautiful. And you're hot. And you're smart. Whoa, maybe we're coming on a little strong, (laughs) aren't we? (laughs) I'm really excited. (laughs) Me too. Okay, so let's go. We'll see you all at the beauty bar. Make sure to subscribe to the show on Spotify or Apple Podcasts so you never miss an episode. See you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that episode? If you did, you can always listen to the full episodes on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And also, do not forget to subscribe and follow this channel. Also, turn on notifications. 